I'm Lizzie and welcome to my garden here at the Rose Fest. It is a gorgeous sunny day today but I had a bit of a disaster in the snow recently of this terracotta pot which cracked in the frost. So you can see it's broken off and I've got loads of succulents in these pots and these have been living outside and they've been totally fine. I know a lot of people have them indoors as well and what I wanted to show you was a new product that I've been sent which is very kindly been sent by um, the Shell on Earth team and I wanted to talk about how I repot on succulents and then how I'm going to dress my pots with these gorgeous whelk shells. I think it's just the most amazing small little family run business so I really wanted to share it with you because laying a, um, a dressing of um, whelk shells on your things will just make them look amazing. Um, I've been using grit recently but I think these are just gonna look so much better so um one of the things that um someone asked me when my friends when they came over was how you take succulents and get more of them and I these are just a few of the succulents I've got I've got a massive pile of pots and anytime my friends come over I'm always giving them some because they have a little baby so like this one is hanging over the edge all you need to do is literally um chop it off and then I'm going to replant it into here. And you literally just push it in. And succulents love like you know dry, hot, sunny conditions. They're absolutely fine doing that. But they just they um they just like you know as you take cutting, it's got a little bit of roots. And just poke that in there. They just take really easily. So you can kind of take the littlest things, and you can also take cuttings from like the leaves as well. But I've got so many here um, that I just keep getting more of them. And um, yeah, it's just filling up my um my garden full of these succulents um, and I think they're really lovely presents for people and you can keep them in. So I've now transplanted some of these into here and I'll probably put these ones into a different pot and then I'm just going to lay the top with this shell on earth product over the top. So these are the most gorgeous shells, all crushed whelk shells and I'm just going to put them all around a dress in between my succulents and it's just going to make it look so much better than a plain mud topping on pots and you can do this for indoor succulents that you've got in pots or you could do it for um some of the gardening pots if i have some left over i think i'm going to do the top of the pansies there um and it goes a really long way as well but yeah it's a lovely family run business and i think it's sustainable and just a brilliant way to make your pot, top of your pots look so much better. So that looks really, really good. And I have got loads left, so I'm gonna do the top of this pan as well. well. I'm gonna be addicted to this and doing this on all my plants. See, it's beautifully topped with um, the, the um, shell on earth and it just looks so much better so I'm actually going to continue it's going a really long way so I'm going to sort out these this one I'm going to top and then I'm going to top all of them so if you want to support a small business this is a brilliant one and it's um, an excuse to make our pots look even prettier so thank you so much shell on earth for sending me this it's completely transformed all of my pots